There are actually seven... I deny it. <laughs> <laughs> there are actually seven previous winners of this Grand Prix starting in tomorrow's race. Four of them are... Still alive. <laughs> not got a clue. You said it. It's you. Well, I'm, I'm desperately trying to, to think. I, you know, I did a, did a few. The, the car in front is absolutely unique, except for the one behind it, which is identical. <laughs> and, um, there's, there's nothing wrong with the car, except it's on fire. <laughs> and uh, you can't see the clock on your monitor, because there isn't one. I've got the correct answer here, and I think it's right. only right that it should be read by the legendary Chris Barry. Oh. <laughs> Can you pass that over to Chris Barry, please, and read the whole card. Um, there are actually seven previous winners of this Grand Prix starting in tomorrow's race. Four of them are Michael Schumacher. <laughs> Chris has got the words, but uh, there are actually seven previous winners of this Grand Prix starting in tomorrow's race, and four of them are Michael Schumacher. <laughs> <laughs> I think the the better impression. You've got a few gears to go up beyond there, haven't you? I mean, I did the bottom gear, and then, of course, there's the middle gear, and then there's an even higher gear when you're talking like this! <laughs> I deny it! <laughs> Right, have a look at this picture. The strange two-wheeled machine there is a Segway, which oh. is advertised as being impossible to fall off. And that is American President George Bush falling off one. <laughs> now, that photo did give us an idea, so everyone follow me for the George W. Bush Segway Challenge. Come on. <laughs> So this is the race, and these are your vehicles, the little segways. Now, just in case you don't know how to use them, I'll give you a little demonstration. There's your turny button. Very nice. As I show you the course. Now, you have to go up this way and slalom <laughs> around the oil barrels, <laughs> like this. We were going to use weapons of mass destruction, but uh, we couldn't find any. <laughs> And then you go right the way around that barrel into the Oval Office. Now, in the Oval Office, you have to change for a weekend at Camp David, OK? You come out of there and grab your lasso, because that's when you have to topple Saddam Hussein. <laughs> and then it's a dash to the White House, and the first person to hit the button is the winner. OK, you got that? Yeah. Mm. Right, gentlemen, mount, <laughs> mount your segues. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> Ready, Ooh. steady, go! This is incredible! Tricky Dicky versus Cunning Chris! And Tricky Dicky is round the oh. twelve barrels, and Chris has overrun his hoop, but they're both disappearing into the White House now! And who's going to be first? Where is Chris? And up, and up! Well done! Oh, look at this! And Saddam goes down! And Richard is the winner! Chris! Gentlemen, let's Thank go back you. to the desk in safety. <laughs> <laughs> good fun. Really good fun. Right, after that presidential mayhem, let's have a check on our race. Yes, Richard and James are in the lead. But there's still everything to play for as our teams gamble all their miles on the outcome of our petrol head stump challenge. And this week, it's not just a test of skill and judgment, it's also a test of faith. This is Sister Claire of St Augustine's Convent. And this is Sister Assumpta of St Hilary's School. They're nuns. Normally, their day consists of good deeds, regular prayer and silent contemplation. But today, instead of burning incense, they're burning rubber. Here, on the start line, are two race-prepared cars. They're identical 1100cc Ford Fiestas. Sister Claire will be behind the wheel of the blue one, and Sister Assumpta will take the red one. So, track, racing cars, nuns, welcome to Petrolhead's Formula Nun. Yes, it's a race of biblical proportions. But the question is, who will win the inaugural round of Formula Nun? 
Richard and James, you're in the lead, so you have to guess first. Yes. Which will it be? Sister Assumpter mm. in the red car or Sister Claire in the blue car? Sis like they're real nuns. They are real nuns. Oh, of Sister course they are. They're real nuns. They're I know real them. nuns. I met them and they are real nuns. They, they were wearing trainers. They, 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 that's what <laughs> they, they wear were... when they're driving. They're both keen drivers. I mean, Sister Claire... Sister Claire is a man. Sister Claire, and you want Dave to know. And does a bit of rally driving no, Sister in Claire, his spare time. I can't believe you're slagging off a couple of nuts. And I know Sister Claire. She's, she actually... <laughs> She actually used to be a driving instructor. I know that for a fact that she drives a, a Rover Metro, anyway, so... I just don't believe No, that. and now Sister Sumter was, um, um, she used to drive in amateur car classic rallies. She'd probably run into us she somewhere, Chris. Nuns don't go racing. It's absolutely true. Pick a, pick a nun. Any nun. Any nun. <laughs> they get don't to pick the first one. I'm afraid oh, you're oh, stuck with the other one. I've got a few points to make. Yeah, go on. Uh, the first is that I think that Sister Claire, if you, I think James is partly right. Sister Claire is actually St. Michael Schumacher in drag. Look at him in face. And there are one or two points when there's a race involved. We don't know anything about the tyre comp pounds they're using. Yeah. We, uh, yeah, but they are identical. We, we, we don't know anything about their fuel strategies. Yeah. But, uh, no, there's no doubt in my mind. Just Sister Claire one, hands down. Ah, but hang on, you don't get the choice, I'm afraid. But I'll tell you what, as Murray Walker's just put uh, his money on Sister Claire. <laughs> exactly. Well, we have well, you must Claire. remember We're all well. going up, mate. This, it's good enough for me. This decision is the whole game. Sister Claire. Hey, okay, let's <laughs> stop. And that, of course, means that you are ended up with Sister Assumpter. How do you feel about Assumpter, Chris? I feel the car's slightly newer, fresher, younger motor. You never know. <laughs> okay, let's find out who won. So, our sisters are on the start line. Who will be Britain's fastest nun? And they're off! Sister Assumpter takes an early lead! Oh! And into the first corner now, but Sister Claire is the inside line. Assumpter's holding her off so far. No! Wait, Claire's through! She's through! Oh, what Sister Assumpter doing? She's taken to the grass. Surely the stewards will have something to say about that. That's the game to the lead, and she's really on the ragged edge into the next corner. And now Sister Assumpter's run very wide, and she's let Sister Claire through again. Amazing! But look, Sister Assumpter has got through and is driving like a nun possessed. This is extraordinary stuff. On to the finishing straight now. They're neck and neck. And actually swapping paint. I don't know who can have it, but Sister Assumpter breaks through and takes the chequered flag. <laughs> I can't it. I oh can't yes. It. Sister Assumpter in the red car was first over the line, which means that Chris and Murray have come from behind to win the game and yes. the whole race. <laughs> And that's almost it from Petrol Heads. Just time to see what's been caught in our speed camera. One unlucky customer finds out why you should never book your ferry tickets from lastminute.com. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Good night. <laughs>More comedy to come, the animated double of American Dad and Family Guy at 11.20. First, it's match of the day, too.